Ammons. Hi, thank you. Uh, my question's for the panel generally. Why are there so many people, and they're on both sides of politics, who refuse to let our competitive businesses die quickly? If we don't want to eat tin fruit or drive Holden Commodores, why are we fighting that? Personally, I enjoy not living in 1983, and I wonder why other people don't feel the same way. Yolanda, let's, um, let's hear from you. Great comment, Mitchell. Thank you for that. Um, <laughs> the point is that we are living in a, in a capitalist society, and where there is supply and demand, we have to adhere to that. Now, we keep see, I believe that we seem to keep making the same mistakes. There's these massive businesses that keep getting bailed out, and yet the small businesses of Australia, which make up 96%, are completely ignored. Do you know of any coffee shop owners or any mechanics that get this massive quantity of money from the grant simply because their business model no longer works? No, so I think here we've got an issue where if it's good for the goose, it's got to be good for the gander. And the majority of small businesses in Australia aren't requesting handouts, so I don't understand why big businesses that are making extraordinary profits seem to think that they can continue asking for money from the taxpayer. I think it's unacceptable. 